Hey guys, welcome to another episode of The Nosebleed. The show that Steven Seagal watches while he's eating. Wow, he's been watching it a lot. He's never been bigger professionally. Today we're traveling back to 2005 for Super Brawl Icon. I like the fights, but my wife watches for the Super Brawl commercial. My kids like the puppy brawl. So do my niece and nephew. Those are my kids. I know. Well, I can't get enough of this Lawler Vitali fight. It's got everything. Hawaiian war dances, faraway camera angles that make it hard to see the action, and an upset comeback for the ages. It was more upsetting for Hawaiians than Pearl Harbor. The attack? No, the Ben Affleck movie. Oh. But before we take you out there, you gotta watch out for this. Watch out for in-fight sponsor Steinlager Beer. You may never have heard of it, I haven't, but you can't avoid it. It's everywhere, like drugs in the show Euphoria. Never seen it. All right, let's go to Hawaii, everybody, where the island vibes are chill, and the fighting is intense, like the peer pressure to do drugs in the show Euphoria. I told you, I've never seen that You've show. You've never seen I've Euphoria. I've never seen Euphoria. I can't believe you haven't seen I, it. it feels Everybody's weird. watching Euphoria. Yeah, but it's weird you for gotta, me to watch. It's not weird, you gotta watch know. it. I'm telling you, I'll come to. over and I'll watch it with I you. Don't you have to watch Are it. Are you peer pressuring me to watch the show Euphoria? Yes, but first let's watch the Lawler fight. What is this? The Lion King? No, a World Star subsidiary. Slower, slower, slower. Look at these graphics. Did they cut these in Final Cut Pro? More like Final Cut Semi Pro. I'm waiting for a cartoon paper clip to pop up and say, need help? Looks like you're trying to make a flyer. Tally looks like he just grounded his son Robbie and forced him to take this picture. Hey, we're doing orange and yellow as the color scheme. What color should we put the fighters' names in? Yellow. Graphics guy, 0 for 1. What color should our arrow be? Yellow? Mm -hmm. Steinlager, when Milwaukee's best said no. Island boys, talk about island boys. Island boys, they're just trying to make it. Which one of these guys is Vitaly? Oh, none of them? Cool. I want to make a White Lotus reference, but I don't have a suitcase to take a shit in. If this little guy is Vitaly, he's going to get his ass kicked. No, I think that's his kid. Who lets their kids fight for them? Logan Roy. Ah, fuck off. Curved hat brim means he's either coming from or going to a Dave Matthews concert. Who fills their entourage with kids besides Michael Jackson? Steinlager. We can get it down to manslaughter. Excuse me, got a hula skirt on. Excuse me, excuse me, round one. This is my moment. Excuse me, excuse me. Man, Steinlager. I've never even heard of that beer. It's from New Zealand. I've never even heard of New Zealand. Well, have you heard of Leinstager beer? Of course, I love Leinstager beer. It's all I drank when I was in New Zealand. And I love their commercials even more. Hello, I'm Steve Leinstager. When my grandfather got out of prison in 1946, he knew two things. One, what a four-legged shower beast was. Two, a recipe on how to make a great beer. And for over 50 years, we here at Leinstager have kept that recipe alive. Unlike the Eagle River Municipal Court System, we never judged our dear grandfather. And no matter what happens, Leinstager will never judge you. Lost a couple grand betting on the ponies? We get it. Grab a Leinstager. Caught rubbing one out in the employee break room. No judgment here. Use your free hand to grab a line stogger. Caught cheating on your wife with her mother? Honest mistake. Grab a line stogger. Run your grandfather's successful beverage business into the ground by not listening when he advised not to move into the hard seltzer market? Don't apologize to the shareholders. Grab a line stogger. Our unique blend of German hops and cold filtered toilet water is the perfect way to take the edge off and give yourself a break. So the next time you're legally obligated to tell your neighbors you're moving in right next door. In that case, actually you're on your own. We gotta draw the line somewhere. The line stogger. You gotta do a lot to not deserve a line stalker. Sorry, Grandpa. Hey, welcome back to the Nosebleeds. Um, should you be drinking that on camera? It's a line stogger, okay? Don't judge me. Fine. Just don't judge people. I won't judge people. It's not cool to judge people. I'll never do it again. Let's get back to judging people at the Lawler Vitale fight. Let's do it. I've seen fewer people on stage at a Wu-Tang concert. 
Too close. Too close. Take us back to the nosebleeds. Immediately. Robbie! Hawaii loves their tourists. Can't spell Hawaii without Iowa. Yeah, you can. Just getting into Hawaii. Yes. Whoa, local pronunciation. Almost didn't recognize him without his hat or 50 kids around him. He's like a mini Dwayne Johnson, the pebble. Vitaly, not the most Hawaiian sounding name. Well, he is from the Sicilian side of Maui. Maybe the close up camera only has 30 seconds of battery life. Here we go, first of three rounds, Ow. five minutes of peace. Lawler Ow. comes attacking with some high left kicks. Robbie looking like a dad fighting Nico bees. Pretty well. Ow. Grabbing onto the leg, into the ropes they go. Is that good wrestling ability by Robbie Ow. Lawler keeping his leg? Ow. Okay, let's take a good look at the good looks of the people who are taking a good look at this fight. Let's do some crowd work. Check out this lady. Listen, I'll land the plane, but I'm still going to the fight. And this gal. Oh my gosh, is there fighting at every luau? Dude, who are you hiding from? Sir, if you pull that hat down any further, it's a ski mask. And yet, he can still see the fight better than we can. One of Robbie's um, weaknesses is his conditioning a lot of times. Robbie's other weakness, but, uh, tiramisu. Conditioning as well as both Battle of the, the board shorts. Mine are longer. Mine are more restrictive. Blows to the back of each other's head. Whoa, someone's not impressed. Nico, this is Divorce his. dad's and standing his section. Strength. Robbie, especially, he's very strong as well. He originally came in at the... Kiss her now. Yeah, the lighting is so romantic. Yeah. Is this guy's camera even plugged in? Or is it like when you give your kid a fake steering wheel so he thinks he's driving the car? Trying to get him in the corner. Wait, are these guys fighting over Jennifer Grey? No, they're fighting for a gift certificate to Billabong. Now you get in the corner for a while. Nobody puts Nico in the corner. Ow. Robbie's knees are so high. How high? Hanging out on Red Man's couch. Best episode of Cribs ever. Okay, this just got real. Okay, now we're gonna meet our favorite guy. Best seat in the house. I'm sorry, best two seats in the house. Look at him, explaining the action to a guy he didn't come with. That is a giant red flag. Yeah, that's such a big red flag, Whitney Cummings is gonna try and date it. I can't tell if that's a sock or a cast. While these guys are fighting for control, he's fighting for the McRib to be year round. His socks are higher and wider than Miley at Burning Man. That reminds me. Oh, geez. Did I ever tell you about the time I went to Burning Man? Unbelievable. Okay, Can we're somebody dancing cut in this mic, glowing please? pyramid. Then someone hands me a didgeridoo. I'm like, it's a didgeridoo now. You told me the story. Cut his mic. And then I went on an art car that was a fire extinguisher. It sounds off. You just don't get it. it. Sounds off. You just don't get it. You'll never get it. You want to come with me to Burning Man next year? I'm considering it. Thank you. The what are they chanting? The Forget Sarah Marshall. Oh, Forget Sarah Marshall. Somebody wants to Nico flips slide. Lawler like a property brother yeah, flips a closed concept that. colonial. Yeah, Huge knee as Robbie comes up. Good uppercut that Hey, time. let's take this back to the corner the where the action was up. awful. Red guy mansplaining the fight to everyone yes, and manspreading fire. everywhere. Well, he's actually explaining which concourse has the caramel corn. All the other ones just have regular popcorn. You can smell it. Just follow your nose. I tried making it at home. It's not the same. You're actually going to want to walk the long way because it's faster. Hey, don't forget to bring your bucket back. They have to refill them. That's by law. But I do cut you off by round three. You got to get a kid to refill it for you. And that's why I always bring my nephew to these things. Wait, where are you going? Whew, I am tired. Well, not as tired as old red shirt walking up concourse two with a bucket full of caramel corn. That's right, that guy's an accident waiting to happen. And when he goes down, it's gonna be a sticky situation. And you just know that there are personal injury lawyers out there waiting to step in and cash in. Hey, did you know that there's a personal injury lawyer trying to rep fighters? You mean this guy? Hey, have you or someone you love or used to love recently or within the past 17 years been kicked in the head or rear naked choked or been forced to tap out for fear of a broken arm all while on the job? I'm Larry M. Braunscheidel, recently reinstated unofficial UFC personal injury attorney at law, and you could be entitled to damages. But don't take my word for it. Listen to these satisfied clients. Yeah, I know Larry. He's that fool that said I was owed some money because I got in a fight at work. I'm like, Larry, fighting is my work. 
He kept calling me. After a while, I let him take the case. But after a buttload in fees, I still haven't got paid for all those damages. I said entitled to damages. You were entitled to damages. I never promised anything. And that's why I'm an incredible lawyer. And Bobby Green knows it. But he's not the only one who knows I'm incredible at lawyering stuff both inside and outside of the octagon. Just ask these fine folks. Larry is amazing. He's not just our lawyer. He's our neighbor. He's not our neighbor. Yes, he is. He lives right around the corner. Well, then he's not amazing because that leaf blower thing was settled six months ago and we haven't seen a cent. He's had to check us in the mail. Well, if he lives around the corner, he could just walk it over. Oh, so you admit it. He is our neighbor. Okay, come mm, on. Okay. I will fight for you until the other side submits and you can take that to the bank. But don't cash that check for a few days. Wait a week or eight days. Eight business days. Larry Brown Channel has no affiliation with the UFC. Larry Brown Channel is legally prohibited from talking about the fertility clinic incident because of pending lawsuits. Enter into agreements with Larry at your own risk. You know what? Wait a month. But Lawler has him for a moment. How? My face. Mom, get him off me. Ref, like everyone's wife after 20 years, not happy with the mount. 20 years? How about eight? bringing it back in the middle. He's gonna move them to the center. Just like Bill Maher. All right, guys, let's remember where we were in terms of aggression and go. That top position. Lawler's definitely got his keys in those shorts. Punch him in the cell phone. Yeah, that got Nico's chin. Nico coming down. This is like when your brother and your cousin start roughhousing at a barbecue. Guys, guys, not while we're grilling. Wow, he just landed on his wallet. That's got to hurt. Yeah, because he never throws away a receipt. Get on up. Get on the scene. Get on up like a sex machine. Get on up. Miss. sport is all about. Now, Nico looks a little winded now. Robbie looks pretty strong right here. And both of them look like surfers fighting over a loose spliff. I wonder if Nico went for that leg up because he felt he was winded. Lawler backing Nico into the corner. Nobody puts Nico in the corner. Miss. Leading with the right, that miss. This guy's swinging and missing like he's Joey Gallo or UFC Cody Bellinger. Sperm goes coast to coast. Man, a good right. And the ref will stop it now. Or now. Or now. Dude, get in there. What is the ref doing? Enjoying this fight? I've seen World Star videos with better refereeing. Robbie Lawler has ended between. Wow, that was crazy. Ooh. Nothing can top that ending. And oh, oh my God. God. Mariah Carey? No, that's Vitaly's sister. This is crazier than the Source Awards. She's telling him that Beyonce deserved video of the year. Security doing a lot. Hold on, we gotta see this whole thing again. She couldn't even be bothered to take off the jean jacket around her waist. She's the Jackson Mahomes of siblings. I haven't seen this much chaos since the last seven times I tried to park at a Trader Joe's. You know what would have kept her out? An eight-sided cage. And tell me again how this is Ron Artest's fault? Jesus, things are relaxed in Hawaii. I guess security's on island time, too. Island security, talking about island security. Total chaos. What is this? A Spirit Air ticket counter on Thanksgiving? This all could have been avoided if Peter and Bobby didn't touch that tiki idol. Who feels worse about their performance, Vitaly or security? Oh yeah, the sheriff was there doing nothing, I forgot. So did he. Mall cop, Hawaiian Paul Blart on hand. You mean poi Blart. Small cop. Mahalo, you're welcome. Okay, while they sort out that mess in the ring, we're gonna take a break and pay some bills. We'll be back with more nosebleeds right after this. Hey guys, me again. Have you been unsuspectingly bombarded by personal injury advertisements during a show streaming behind a subscription paywall? Cheesy 90s editing brings in footage of Larry from the first commercial as he continues to talk. If this is the second time you're seeing me during this broadcast, then you could be entitled to damages. I'm formerly disbarred, unofficial UFC personal injury lawyer, Larry D. Brownscheidel, and I'll tell you what I told my second wife on the night of our elopement. I won't stop until you're satisfied. And she said, that will never happen. She was right. Now she's my second ex-wife, but that's a story for another time. But don't listen to me, listen to David. I got an email from Larry M. Brownscheidel, who said, I'm entitled to receive damages for getting the email. So then he starts sending me Actual mail. Snail mail. Snail mail. This guy is old school. I'm not old school. I'm not new school, but I did go to law school in the Caribbean. And I graduated with my class. Look, 
The corporate greed and unethical solicitations must stop. And the only person who can easily put an end to this nonsense is the person who started it all. If you agree with me, then call the offices of Larry W. Brownscheidel today. Larry Brownscheidel is technically not allowed to discuss personal details of any of his marriages in a non-hypothetical manner. Larry's ankle bracelet precludes him from meeting with clients outside of his office. <laughs> Frosted <laughs> tips. They're great. Guys, were you non-believers? Non-believers? Yeah, in God or in MMA? Hey, wait, no, let me finish. Okay, let me just pull the mic away and no, let him finish. <laughs> Worth the wait. Robbie Lala, he's tough, bro. Uh oh, yeah, here comes I, the best man speech that no one asked man, for. No, he got caught. What? Nico, you, you, you were in. Let him finish. Let him breathe for 20 seconds, the not say anything, and then he's finish. The best martial arts team in the world. And he I proved it tonight. The UFC fighters. Me. I got a full-time job. And they think I'm out I, making deliveries right now. I was trying to take two weeks off, but I only had I eight vacation job. days left. So I petitioned my boss for the personal days. And they said, I you can't attach personal days off. to vacation days. To which and, uh, I said, if I don't use them, I'm going to lose them. To which they said, it has to be approved by a supervisor. To which I said, you are my supervisor. Uh, okay, guys. sorry. Anyway, what, what was the question? Please, the local guys. These guys if this were the Oscars, they're he would have been played job. off by now. Or yeah, slapped by Will Smith. God bless everybody for coming out. Wait, did he just tell Vitaly to go put the belt on Lawler? He did! Ladies and gentlemen, watch this. Nico Vitale just asked if he could put the belt on Robbie Lawler. No, he didn't. You just told him to. I'll put the belt on. This is like when parents of a toddler force them to say goodbye to you. No, Grandma, the kids asked to write you those thank you notes. Go put the belt on your cousin. Now, you thank cousin Nico for that belt. You hear that, Robbie folks? Lawler. He just asked if he could thank Nico you for his belt. This counts champion. as your back-to-school belt you and your birthday up. gift. Now, walk around the like ring I've so I can see it on you. Before. Was that part of your plan, to come so hard? Come so hard? What is this, the AVN Awards? You know, Jay, I was watching the AVN Awards recently, and they have a category for best actor. At the AVN? Yeah, that's like the Oscars having a category for best anal. Meryl Streep won again? I respect it. I love Hawaii. Thank you. It's a great country. Did Ladies you hear that? He just asked me to thank Hawaii. Sport world champion. Wow, that post fight was less organized than Firefest. Was that the same security team that was protecting Covington at that steakhouse in Miami? Poquito Masvidal. All right, let's give out some bleedies. It's time for bleedies. It's what you all need, please. Bleeding for most surprising entrance, of course, I'm going to give mine to Vitaly's sister. Come on, lady, take the jean jacket off your waist and enter the ring like a real man. I gotta give mine to this kid. Why does he get to hold the belt? It's not your belt. I bet you walk around the house holding that belt like you own the place, kid. Meanwhile, Vitaly's out working a nine to five. Can we please get some island sponsorship for these guys? Island sponsorship, talking about island sponsorship. Hawaiian punch, it's no brainer. All right, that's show. Remember to keep your kids away from the belt. Take the jean jacket off your waist. And stay the hell away from Larry J. Brownscheidel for God's sake. Have you been poorly represented by formerly disbarred personal injury lawyer Larry M. Brownscheidel? Has he failed to meet your expectations? I wish I could say I was surprised. I'm Stephanie Branzino, emotional injury lawyer and former second wife to Larry M. Brownscheidel. I know what it's like to be disappointed by Larry. So join me and all of our friends and two cousins on Larry's mother's side who chose me in the divorce as we file a class action suit against Larry for all the emotional damage that he's inflicted. I mean, I'm fine. I moved on. I like drinking a bottle of Shiraz every night. Stephanie's nightly Merlot-fueled rant. It's Shiraz. Well, regardless, we no longer associated with Larry. Well. <laughs> Mark? He needed a character witness for that fertility clinic mix up and Call me Stephanie Branzino, emotional injury lawyer. I will fight for the money that you are owed. I will repair emotional damage. I will retrieve the frozen eggs that Larry unlawfully took from the fertility clinic. Why did they give him my eggs? Stephanie Branzino is just a paralegal. There is no such thing as an emotional injury lawyer. I said you were entitled to those children, Stephanie. I never promised I would inseminate those eggs. Besides, I don't want to raise any kids with that emotional terrorist. Don't, uh, don't use that, because that's, uh, 
I, I'm not allowed to say that legally. Personally, I don't care. <laughs> Boom. <laughs>